Hello students. In this video, you're going to learn about the Clemenson reduction reaction and the Wolf-Kishner reduction reaction. Both of these reactions are used to reduce carbonyl compounds, that is aldehydes and ketones, into alkanes. So let's get started. This is Clemenson reduction reaction and it is named after the scientist Clemenson. He used zinc amalgam and hydrochloric acid to reduce the carbonyl compound into alkanes. So basically, this reaction is carried out in acidic medium. Zinc is used as a catalyst. A catalyst is a substance that speeds up a chemical reaction without itself being consumed. And HCl is the strongest, so it produces lots of protons in the medium. Four protons are used in this reaction. Two protons, they're used to reduce this carbonyl group that is C double bond O into methylene that is CH2 group, forming the corresponding alkane. And the rest of the two hydrogens attack oxygen and form water as a byproduct. So in this case, propanone, it is reduced into propane by zinc mercury amalgam and HCl. It's a lesser understood reaction. Basically, the reduction takes place at the surface of the zinc catalyst. Students, alcohols. They are not considered as an intermediate because subjection of the corresponding alcohols to same reaction condition does not lead to the corresponding alkane. So basically it's proposed that zinc carbinoid, it is produced as an intermediate during the mechanism. Zinc, it's a metal, it can donate electron. It gives electron to this carbon because it is partially positively charged because it is less electronegative than oxygen. These electrons jump on this oxygen giving it a negative charge and what happens is the two protons are taken by this oxygen and a water molecule is eliminated, forming the resulting carbonoid. This carbonoid is a very reactive molecule. It again takes two protons from the corresponding alkane and the zinc catalyst is regenerated. Students, a carbonoid is a molecular entity having the characteristic of a carbene. Students, a carbene associated with a metal, it is known as carbonoid. So this is a carbene associated with zinc metal. And you should know what a carbene is. It is a divalent carbon atom. You can see here that carbon atom that utilizes only two of the carbon bonds, two of the four bonds that they are capable of forming with the other atoms. So these are the two bonds. It is a divalent atom. It's a very reactive molecule. So the carbene, which is associ associated with the metal, it is known as carbonoid. And the zinc carbonoids, they are considered to be the intermediate during the Clemenson reduction mechanism. Now let's see what Wolf-Kishner reduction reaction is. In this reaction, hydrazine and potassium hydroxide, they are the reagents used to reduce the carbonyl compounds into alkanes. Now here you see acetaldehyde, it is reduced into ethane by using hydrazine and potassium hydroxide. So N2H4 and potassium hydroxide. So this reaction is carried out in basic medium. Students, in this reaction, the carbonyl compound is first treated with, the carbonyl compound, it is treated with hydrazine to form hydrazone and then the hydrozone upon heating in the presence of base produces hydrocarbons. Let's see the mechanism of this reaction. Firstly, there's a formation of hydrozone and it's a condensation reaction. You must know what a condensation reaction is. A condensation reaction is a chemical reaction in which two molecules, they are joined together to form more complex, bigger molecules with the loss of a small molecule that is most commonly water. So this is a condensation reaction. And firstly, there's a formation of a hydrozone by condensation reaction. You see hydrazine, it is reacting with this carbonyl compound to form hydrozone. How? Let me tell you. The nitrogen lone pair, you can see here, the nitrogen lone pair attacks the carbon of the carbonyl group as it has partial positive charge. As you know, oxygen is more electronegative than oxygen. So what happens is that the pi electrons, these pi electrons, they collapse on this oxygen, giving it a negative charge. The nitrogen will get positive charge because now it's making four bonds. One, two, three, four. So it is positively charged. So now you see there's a proton exchange within the molecule as negative oxygen, it attacks the proton on the nitrogen, giving nitrogen back its electrons. Students, hydrazine, it is more nucleophilic than the regular amine and nucleophilic, nucleus loving, that is electron donating. So hydrazine, it is more nucleophilic than the normal amine due to the presence of two adjacent nitrogens, as you can see here. So again, it attacks the former carbonyl carbon and kicks out hydrogen. You see, it attacks the carbonyl carbon and kicks out hydroxy group and what happens is that it extracts hydrogen from the nitrogen giving back its electrons. So you see it forms a neutral molecule which is an intermediate during the Wolf-Kishner reduction reaction and this is a hydrozone. Now students let's see the deprotonation of hydrozone. There are lots of hydroxy groups in the solution which can attack the hydrogens of the hydrozone and the nitrogen will get the negative charge which will resonate back and forth. As you can see here, when the electrons are present on carbon, this carbon, when the electrons are present here, what happens is they'll deprotonate water as 
the potassium hydroxide it is dissolved in water and form the first of the hydrogen of the alkane so there is an abstraction of proton from the water so a proton it is abstracted from the water and it attaches here and what happens next is another hydroxy group reach out for hydrogen here you see sitting on nitrogen and the bond will be shifted between the nitrogens breaking the carbon nitrogen bond and the electrons are going to collapse on this carbon atom here and as a result nitrogen gas it will bubble out from the solution making the reaction irreversible so there is a loss of nitrogen and the negative charge will reside here now what happens is that again there is a deprotonation of water another hydrogen from the water is extracted and it attaches here so the second hydrogen it is attached to this carbon forming the resulting alkene so this was the full mechanism of verification reduction i hope this was helpful to you if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching wish you all the best